January 2009, M1, question 7. Always remember to make your diagrams large enough so that the examiner can see the forces. I'm going to start by adding the reaction forces. We will have a reaction at A and a reaction at B. Ground is rough, so I'm going to have friction which prevents this ladder from slipping. The weight of the ladder, 30G, and the weight of the man, 100G. If I look at the up-down forces, I can see that R has to equal 100G plus, plus 30G. So that's 130G. If I look at left, right, I can see that friction has to equal A. And I also know that at the point B, friction equals mu R. Mu is a half, so friction is one half R, which is 65 G. Taking moments about A, if I go 3 metres up, I have the weight of the ladder acting down. The distance that I'm interested in is beside the angle. 60 degrees, so I'm going to be using cos. So the moment is force times perpendicular distance, which will be 3 cos 60. And that is 45g, and it is going to be in an anti-clockwise direction. Man is x metres up, we have 100g. Again, the distance that I'm adding is beside the angle. So that is 100g times x cos 60, which is 50gx. That is also anti-clockwise. Final force A is 6 metres up. The angle 60 is here. The side we want is opposite the angle. So it's going to be A times 6 sine 60 and that is a 3 root 3 and that's going to be in a clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise moments have to equal clockwise moments so 45g plus 50g x has to equal 3 root 3a I previously worked out that A is equal to friction and that is 65G. I can now go through and cancel G's in every term. I can see that 50X equals 3 root 3 times 65 minus 45. 50X is 292.749 which means that x is 5.85 meters and that has been rounded to three significant figures.